run. Bye, guys. Bye, B. <laughs> what was that I heard, Dan? <laughs> Something about what a good way to learn yes. by torturing Barbie. Torturing Barbie. Yeah. It's raining over the east again, torturing the folks that have had rain yesterday and again today. As we move in a little bit closer, take a look at the rain moving through Moab and Arches up towards the LaSalle's. It is snowing in the LaSalle's just like it did in the Wasatch. And we're getting some showers along I-70, some of them heavy. Look at this band of heavy rain moving from northwest to southeast across the Arches National Park area. Now, in the Tavaputs, wrap around from that moisture, wrap around from the low. This is the circulation around the low in Colorado is now bringing some rain to the US 6 corridor. So you're getting some rain around Sunnyside and um, up around uh, the Book Cliffs, and it's going to continue to rain a bit across the Uinta Basin sporadically today. And some showers will increase later in the afternoon in the Uintas and also over the central and southern mountains, but not much will reach the Wasatch Front. It's going to be one of those days where the moisture is primarily confined to eastern Utah. But uh, as you can see here, and we'll show you in another picture, clouds are over Salt Lake City, so we aren't going to see a lot of sunshine today, and temperatures will stay cooler than normal as a result of this storm now four to five inches of snow Alta and Snowbird and the Uintas above about uh, 9,500 feet 8,700s in Eden Park City had 6,700s. This was a generous storm in Heber and also Provo, Tooele and the Salt Lake Airport. Showers will continue as I mentioned coming in from the east so right around 3 p.m. some scattered showers. These will diminish a bit by 9 p.m. The morning will start quiet but look what happens in the afternoon. The low is moving so very slowly the wrap around once again from the Uintas back towards the uh, Boulder Mountain area and possibly the LaSalle and Abajos. We'll see some showers tomorrow but on Friday a much nicer and quieter day. So again, the satellite picture showing those clouds and showers moving eastward. We'll see 63 in Vernal for a high with off again, on again showers, possible thunder showers, arches, canyon lands, and around Capitol Reef. A low probability for flash flooding, but generally a cool day and a cool night tonight with lows in the 40s, some 30s around Park City. Slight chance for showers again, eastern Utah, southern Utah, though dry in St. George and temperatures warming into the low 90s. And we'll see 70 today. That's right a little bit below normal. For tomorrow, 74, Kerry. It's a perfect day tomorrow, really temperature wise. 74 is average for this time of the year, so we're going to go above average by about five, six, seven degrees, and it'll be dry, beautiful weather over the weekend and early next week. No storms in the forecast. No more snow, though. No more snow. Okay. Sorry. Just a taste of what's to come. We'll get it soon enough. And hopefully, we'll get a really wet, snowy winter. We have an El Nino forming, so that's either really wet or really dry in northern Utah. So. That's kind of well, that's it, hedging the bets, right? <laughs> well, it, it hedges the bets, but of all of the El Ninos I've seen, uh -huh. often they're either very, very wet or very, very dry. They don't seem to be normal. We just so. don't know which extreme, huh? Right okay. now, I can't say. All right. Thanks, yep. Dan. You're welcome.